Hey guys, it's Matt from Electric All Wheel. We are here with the Ride One Up Limited High Step. We are going to add a second battery with the Electric All Wheel Dual Battery Discharge Balance Kit. We have a 40 amp dual battery discharge balancer. Uh, the controller on this has a limit that's higher than 20, so we gotta, we're bumping it up to the 40. We have our braided XT60 extensions, and we also have the infamous recommended battery from Amazon. You'll see that link in the description. Check out the website. We have the pages for all of our brands that we've actually done this for. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe. We're just gonna get right into it. Here we go. All right, so these are Phillips head screws. You're gonna need a right size fit screwdriver because the holes for each one of the screws is pretty exacting. like kind of stuck the screwdriver in there and kind of pulled forward a little bit. And yeah, perfect. Let do it. Now we're gonna take a look at all of our cabling and we see the XT60 connections. So we're going to clip off this zip tie. Take our discharge balancer. Disconnect for the battery plate. And then hook up for balancer out to the controller. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our external battery and we're just gonna hook it up and then test for power. And then there it is, display is on. Now we've got to run our extensions up through. We want to make sure and check for the end. So this end needs to plug in here. So this is what will come through the bottom. There it is. Then I'm gonna go ahead and plug up the second extension so I know that it's not gonna fall out. Pull this through, bring my balancer up, hook it into the second connection for battery and then now I am concerned about fitment. So I'm going to go ahead and make my plug in for the factory battery as well. And since my controller is the bigger part of all of this, I'm going to get that into the housing.
All right. So we got the wire in there. It is a tight fit, so you're gonna have to take some time. Uh, main wires go down the body here. And then, so it's controller first, balancer on the opposite side of the controller, and then longer adapters go down the main housing over the top here. And then smaller gauge wires uh, get bundled at the top and then your plate. Make sure that your smaller gauge wires do not get trapped in your threads for your screws. They will ruin those edges and then you will short out your controller, so be careful. All right, right now I know that I have power via the secondary battery, so I'm gonna get this run up underneath and then up the seat down, down tube so that we can get it strapped with the secondary battery. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do a test for power and put in the main bike battery. We have power, so we know that's hooked up. There is no secondary battery. Okay, and then we're gonna string up the secondary battery. So what I like to do is when I have a nice high crossbar, I'll just run the top strap first and that way it's holding. And then the same with all the others. I like to strap the wire using the bag straps. So I'll run that up through here, bring it out on the other side. Go ahead and plug it in. And then I'm gonna run the excess wiring into the bag. All right, we have now a 24 amp hour, 48 volt Ride One Up Limited. This thing has the recommended second battery with the electric all wheel dual battery discharge balance kit, and it is fit for the Ride One Up. This bike has the 27.5 650B tires and it is fit for cruising. You're not limited to a 10 amp hour battery, so don't worry if you want a much larger secondary battery, go ahead and get it. Just make sure that your voltage ratings match at 48 volt and you're good to go. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe. Check out our Instagram. It needs some work, but it's there. We have TikTok channel, YouTube, Facebook page, and we are also the admin for eBikes of Tampa Bay, Florida on Facebook. So come join us there. And if not, we're a big proponent of Facebook groups anyway, so check out your Ride One Up Facebook groups. We'll talk to you next time.